Greetings, Daniel Presedo for Adobe Photoshop CS6 Extended, and today we're going to look at depth maps, which we can create geometry from grayscale images, where the black represents the farthest point in the scene and white represents the closest. So we're going to work in 32-bit images today because that will give us the largest range of data to describe our 3D object. Uh, as you know, 8-bit only has 256 levels of depth, so we're going to stick with 32 bits to get a smoother 3D object and I'll do a quick example to show you what this would look like. I'm going to select this layer here called Depth 1 and in my 3D panel here we have Mesh from Depth Map. I'm going to say, let's go ahead and say Plane and say Create and immediately there we have a depth map. So the, whatever was white is shooting out at us and whatever was dark, black, is um, receding in the background there. So that is a quick view of what depth map can do. Now conversely, if we were to go over here and select the other one, we'll get the opposite effect. The black letters will recede inside the map here. There you go. And that's just one way to make a depth map. Yeah, you're probably not going to use text too often because it, it looks kind of rough as you can see here. It's just the geometry, you know, we don't do any subdivisions or things like that. I mean, but you can get some different effects with different kinds of uh, gradients and selections of plane, two solid two-sided plane, cylinder, or sphere, and I'll show you here. I'm going to choose sphere and go back to my gradient tool here, and let's just do one of these. Let's just see what happens here. Create sphere from this gradient depth map, and there you go. You can get some really crazy shapes, and if you render this, uh, it's going to show you just all the ridges and the way it's kind of sliced through there to create the depth map. And again, you can just create all kinds of different things. And I should also mention, um, if you actually go here, let's go into the, the actual depth map and split the view. I'm going to arrange our workspace tile vertically here. Now if I go over here and select my brush, let's really exaggerate this, and then just kind of cut away at this, and then save it, and then click on my document back over here, it updates automatically. Well, automatically in that, you have to actually click on the document, but you can come back over here. Let's select our brush and just do some more kind of crazy painting. Let's change it to black over here. And then save it over here. We're going to save that. Come back over here. Let's take my 3D tool. And you can see that it's updated. It's cut in there. And so it updates dynamically. So you can actually do some pretty crazy creations in Photoshop. And again, this is another area where you can experiment and do crazy things. And please ask your questions. You got any thoughts, ideas, show me your work. And go out there and create. Thanks.